Welcome to another episode of Smoke Meat with Jeff. Today we're going to be doing some lamb uh, shanks. And uh, just going to need a couple of basic supplies for that with, uh, of course, a pair of uh, kitchen scissors and a sharp knife. And then as far as your food ingredients go, uh, you're going to need some uh, lamb shanks, some olive oil, and of course some uh, special spices. Some of my home blend uh, just whipped this batch up of my uh, uh, sweet and spicy. This uh, recipe is actually fairly easy to execute, but it is a long cook time. Uh, because of the lamb um, being a little sinewy and a little bit of a tougher cut, uh, you want to cook it slow and low for an extended period of time. Typically, uh, you're going to see me smoking at around 250, 275, uh, but lamb chops or uh, lamb shanks smoke at around two, uh, 220 to 230 um, for a much longer time. So uh, let's get started on, on prepping this for going on the smoker. When working with lamb shanks, there's a little bit of preparation work to do. Um, I've got two of them here. This is a typical lamb shank that you would get from your butcher. Um, you know, of course, they cut off the ends, but you can see it has a kind of what I call a silver skin on the outside. And this you want to actually remove. Um, and that's where you're going to need to get into uh, getting underneath it with your fingers, using a very sharp knife, and of course, some kitchen scissors to remove that skin, like I have done with this one here. You can see I've removed quite a bit, but make sure you leave the fat, because remember, fat is flavor. Um, and then we'll move on to the next step of preparing this. Um, just got to finish removing the skin on this one, and then we'll get to uh, the final prep and get this thing onto the smoker. All right, well today is the day of noisy birds, so ignore their, uh, their racket in the background. But uh, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the silver skin removed from the shank to expose as much of the muscle as possible. Uh, and now we're just going to season this and uh, go throw it on the smoker. Um, but for seasoning this, I found using a little bit of olive oil works really well uh, for getting the uh, spices to stick. So I'm going to throw a little bit of olive oil on here. We're going to rub that in all over. Of course, keep a towel handy that you'll throw straight in the wash when you're done so you don't cross-contaminate. And then I just have my, uh, my sweet and spicy rub here that I'm going to uh, liberally coat the entire surface of our lamb shanks. And if you've got little um, slits in the meat, get that, uh, that seasoning right down into those crevices to really let that flavor permeate the meat as it smokes. So I'm going to continue to do this and then uh, in a couple minutes this will be ready to go on the smoker. All right, now that all the prep work is done, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the lamb shank here uh, coated in an olive oil and a good coating of my uh, secret spices. We're just going to throw this on a Bradley rack and put this directly on or in the smoker. Now, because you want to run this uh, low and slow, much lower and slower than you typically would uh, for some of the other dishes that we, we make on our smoker. If you have a cool spot on your smoker, stick it over there so that it, uh, it doesn't get over, um, you know, cooked too quickly on the outside. Um, and uh, you want to make sure that you have a water pan under or above your heat source to really uh, help regulate that temperature in your smoker as well as to keep things moist inside. Uh, that silver skin that we removed earlier, you do have the option of leaving that on uh, and then that'll crisp up nicely on the outside. But um, I find that when you go to cut this thing up to serve it, it kind of acts as a barrier keeping the spice flavors from um, really getting into the meat itself. So you have some really tasty skin, uh, but the meat lacks that uh, the flavor of the spices that you're throwing on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw this on the smoker, and then we will uh, check back in a little while. Today I'm cooking with mesquite and almond. All right, let's check in. The uh, lamb shanks have been on for about three hours now. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's coming along nicely. You can see how the uh, the meat's starting to uh, kind of come off the bone there a little bit. And over here I got some potatoes uh, that I'm going to be doing some uh, twice smoked stuffed potatoes that we can take a look at in one of my other recipes. So uh, we got about another two hours on the smoker for this until we hit an internal temperature of at least 165. If we can get it up a little higher than that, that'll be better. 
it's still nice and tender. So we'll come back in a little bit. And here we go, our finished smoked lamb shank. Hot off the smoker. Let's see if I can do this without uh, burning my fingers, which it looks like I will probably do. So nicely smoked, baked on uh, uh, flavor on the outside there. Let's take a take a look at uh, how tender this turns out. Oh, not bad. Flavor on the outside, juicy on the inside. You can see it dripping. Look at that. So I'm going to get you some uh, some pictures of this. So take a look at uh, the finished product here, and uh, get your fork and knife ready. So uh, this is Jeff with Smoke Meat with Jeff. Enjoy your smoker. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs>